is the most expensive sticker I have ever bought in my life. the past couple of hours the last thing you guys saw I think I was messaging the health department so we finally passed L and I so exciting the work we ended up putting into it was another two thousand dollars of work sucks but you know it is the way it is you guys already kind of know the whole process and everything but um, the inspector came by this morning and that is the most expensive sticker I have ever bought in my life literally a seven hundred dollar sticker we needed that L and I sticker though obviously you can't function you can't do business without that and then like I've said in the video before I basically had everything ready for the health department they needed an updated operating procedures on why I didn't need a commissary and the copy of our water bill to make sure we're on city water and that it's all good and also a few other things we had to change so I sent them the pictures of that and so they'll be able to process that in the next couple days and approve us and then I'm waiting for the city of Lacey to approve our application so that we can set up at our spot we're gonna be at two days a week in Lacey so whenever they approve that we're good to start serving there our first public event once the health department approves us we're actually good for public events and our first public event is May 11th. That's really exciting. I'm feeling so much better. I was really, really stressed about that, as you guys know. The last thing I'm trying to figure out here is we're having some complications with our cold brew system, our nitro cold brew system. I have another person coming by today trying to help me and um, I've never dealt with them before. It seemed pretty straightforward and it should be straightforward, but we ordered an infuser where it's hooked up. It has like a dual connection from the nitrogen to the tank to push it out up into the infuser. It's supposed to make it more easy on, more easy. It's supposed to make it easier on you to be able to not have to like charge the tank as long and have to shake it all the time because I hear that that makes it really inconsistent because you have to shake it a lot and not all the drinks come out the same. So the infuser was pretty pricey and was supposed to infuse the drink and it's not working. So I think today we might take that off and I hope still maybe we can figure out how to use it because it was expensive. I don't know if I can return it because I've had it for a couple months. We might just do it the old fashioned way and hook up straight from the nitrogen to the cold brew. I was just trying to make my life easier but maybe that's what I get for you know, trying to use high tech stuff. So that's the last thing we're figuring out. And uh, one of my friends actually, who's gonna be my first employee, she's not gonna work for me very long, but she's gonna help me like get started for the first month and everything. So she's coming over today just for me to show her our POS system and where everything is and all of that so she can get acquainted for when we're ready to serve. I also got her a t-shirt. I got her a Salted Road t-shirt, so I'm gonna give that to her. But right now, I have like a few meetings today. A couple of them are fun ones, just like lunch with people. A couple of them are work meetings. It'll be a really good day. It's really sunny outside and it's kind of chilly, so I got a sweatshirt on. But I'm gonna go run some errands. I gotta run at the store and return an item I ordered online. It's like, I just hate ordering stuff. I love the convenience of online ordering, but then things like just don't fit and it's so frustrating. Stop by Costco and now I am on my way to the post office to mail back the return and check my P.O. box, which I don't even know if you guys know that I have a P.O. box. We started it because we're like slightly paranoid just because some people are crazy. We, when we do business deals and stuff with companies, they send it to our P.O. box unless they're like a bigger name brand company. If you're curious what it is, I can put, their address is actually always down below, uh, but some people send us stuff sometimes. If you have like a small business and you want us to promote it, for you um, I've had some small boutiques and stuff send me items anything like that you don't have to but the option is there if you're trying to get your products out there if you get our permission firsthand so just DM me but yeah our address is down below if you're ever interested in doing that it's such a nice day I actually have the AC on today and do you see the scab it like looks so minor but it actually hurts so bad because we have everything bolted down in the trailer so it doesn't move obviously when you're driving but when you go to clean things I like scrape my arm on the metal and I swear I need stitches. I thought I could see my bone. It was bleeding a lot but um, 
really sucks because I always lean on my elbow and stuff while I'm driving and it's so sensitive now, I can't do that. <laughs> terrible job of filming but I just got done at the post office mailed it sucks because the post office is closer to where my parents used to live not where I live now so I drive all the way here and sometimes things that I'm expecting to receive aren't here yet and I only come like every couple weeks or not even every three weeks but anyway I'm meeting somebody at 1 o'clock and right now it's 1150 I hate to do this because I'd rather just like eat a shake or something at home because I could save money and they're good and they're healthy but I'm really hungry and I don't want to go all the way home yet so um, I think I'm gonna stop at Starbucks maybe get a drink and a little bit to eat I actually need a white dress for an event called the pure vibe party in um, Vegas for the conference for Arbonne I ordered that's the dress I just returned ordered this white dress so cute I actually ordered it a bigger size than I needed but you know things online are just <sighs> literally my butt cheeks were like coming out so I'm like well that's not gonna work um, it only covered my body when I stood straight which I have to walk so I need to go find a white dress which is hard because white dresses are see-through it's gonna be super cool and super fun it's just um, I think next year I'm gonna start looking earlier I thought it would be a lot easier to find one and also because I'd ordered one I thought I was good but nope. hopefully they'll have something that'll work so I'll keep you guys updated I think I'm gonna do uh, just a grande uh, Megan mango dragon fruit refresher with some coconut milk you want that, like no water and coconut milk? um or you just want like a little bit just a little bit boo target everything in there was so colorful a lot of it was really cute and to be honest I got distracted duh it's target and I picked up like three things I didn't need and I walked to the fitting room and they were all full and I was like I don't want to wait and I don't need these things anyway so I actually put them back and then I had to like put blinders on to get out of the store they had one white dress but it literally looked like I should be on a prairie raising 15 children and homeschooling them not the look I'm going for I'm actually gonna go try value village which I know is like a long shot but honestly target didn't even have it so who's gonna have it I have a little bit more time to kill so I'm gonna go run in there and see if maybe there's something white I can wear we'll see <laughs> a dress I went to value village so like obviously there's like an assortment of everything and they had so many white dresses and I just tried on all of the white dresses I could find whether they were my size or not <laughs> and actually most of them fit because most of them were pretty like stretchy and everything but I ended up picking one that was like more expensive but it's a thrift store so I got it for $19 such a good deal cheaper than anything from Target um, and I had just picked up more ink because we go through so much ink and our ink was like twice the amount of that so I just got the dress for half the amount as ink I'm glad I found that I feel a lot better now because at least I found one and I don't have to worry about that now I'm ready for my trip celebrating with dinner and margaritas yes please <laughs> we haven't had Mexican food in a whole month it tastes so good <laughs> It's not going to in a little bit. Well, it's gonna hurt coming out. Mm -hmm. mm. At least you're eating like somewhat healthy. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. mm. This is amazing. Hi guys, so it's actually the next day now and um, I think this video is going to be kind of short. I don't know. I honestly forgot to end it yesterday, but Garrett and I ended up going out to dinner and celebrating just exciting things that are happening. Um, he's having a really good month with real estate and just passing Elle and I was a huge thing as you guys know. So that's super, super exciting. Um, update so far actually. I didn't even tell you guys about this, but the health department told me they're going to take a couple days to process everything and maybe that's just what they say to make sure it's safe. But but within me sending them, I emailed them right in the morning and sent them everything, the proof that we had passed L and I and all of that. And they called me a couple hours later and told me that we were good to go. And so we're pretty much good to go with public events and everything like that. Like I said before, we're still waiting on the city's approval to be at the locations we want to be at a couple times a week. But I've done what I can up to that point. And I'm just so glad to be done with L and I and 
that whole thing it was not fun but I feel better because of it and I feel like I learned a lot because of it so I'm glad we got through that I'm grateful to everybody that was part of helping me get through that and and the support and encouragement we received from everybody but um yeah we're super excited and I will continue to keep you guys posted on everything um see you in the next video